Watch it! Get your knee out of my face! My shoes first! God, you stink! Uh, Ow! What was that? Quit your belly aching, we're on! I'm way too short for this. I hear you've been having some trouble. No, oh, this is a bad one, Sergeant. Worst I've seen. Not long ago, we had this region secure under the supervision of one Colonel Blintz. That changed when Blintz was injured in the line of duty. Medics did what they could, but he sustained a massive, disfiguring head wound. Disfiguring? He lost his mind! And now, uh, that was the last we saw or heard of him. Until this. No. I'm afraid so. He's gone tan. And he took his soldiers with him. Those that didn't turn, melted down for scrap. Your mission is to proceed through the white picket fence and track down the colonel. When you find him, Eliminate all defenses and terminate the colonel. All right, men, we got a job to do. Good morning, soldier. I'm sure you're itching to get out in the field. But before you do, we're gonna help you brush up on your skills. You've got a lot of new tools to play with. It's best you know how to use them. Now let's make this quick so we can get moving. We're going to start with the camera. Use your left analog stick to move the camera across the terrain. You can increase the speed by pushing the left analog stick farther from the center or decrease it with smaller increments. Try to move the target in the center of your screen over the extraction point to the north. Good. Now you're going to learn how to select a unit. Move the camera up so that the target in the center of your screen is on top of Sarge. When you've got it in position, press the circle button on your control pad to select him. Sarge here. With Sarge selected, scroll your target anywhere on the map and press the X button to give Sarge a move order. Not a problem. Okay, next you're going to learn how to use the selection ring. It allows you to select multiple units in a close proximity by tapping the circle button. Each time you press it, the selection ring grows larger. And once you move the camera, the selection is confirmed. I'm dropping three members of your commando team into the sandbox. Try to select them all at once by tapping the circle button three times to create a large selection ring. Yeah. Good. Now press X to give them a move order and they'll all move together. Yep. Good. Every time you give one of these move orders, your selected units are stored as a group. You can then reselect these units by moving close to them and pressing the triangle button. Scroll over to Sarge and press the triangle button. Yeah. Now scroll back to your other three units and press the triangle button again to reselect them. Yeah. That's all there is to it. This will work for groups of any size as long as they are visible on screen. Now practice selecting and moving your units across the map 
using the circle button, the X button, and the triangle button. You'll notice that whenever you select a unit, it deselects any units that were already highlighted. Next, you're going to use the Add to Selection button, which allows you to select new units without clearing the old ones. I'm dropping the other three members of your commando team in. Try to select all seven units in the map at once by moving over each one and pressing the square button. Who's next? What now? Nap time! Sarger! Huh? Sup? Excellent job. Those are the basics. Now you're going to learn how to jump to alerts. Anytime an enemy is spotted or one of your units is attacked, an alert is created. You can immediately jump the camera to the location of this alert by pressing the L1 button. There's a group of tans engaging your units. I'm, I'm locking your camera, so you'll have to hit the L1 button to get them. Press the L1 button to jump to the enemy unit. Your grunt should take care of the tans on their own. You can bring Sarge and the others over to help out or wait for the grunts to finish them off. Unit lost. Very good. You're almost done. Try raising and lowering the camera by holding down the R2 button on the top of the controller and moving the analog stick up or down. This will give you a different perspective on the map and may help you find units that are hidden or obscured. To return to the default camera height, press and release the R2 button without moving the analog stick. Don't press the select button. It does nothing. Do not ever go near the select button. Lastly, Try pushing in on the left analog stick as you scroll the camera. This will give you an added speed boost that will send you across the map quickly. The farther the analog stick is from the center, the faster the speed boost will be when you push it in. That's everything. You can stay here and practice what you've learned for as long as you want. When you've had enough, move Sarge to the extraction point to complete your training. Now you're going to learn how to put together a base, collect resources, and build up an army. There's a lot to learn here, and it's important, so pay attention. You've been given a bulldozer. All the buildings in a base can be built by this unit. Hold the R1 button down to pull up the bulldozer's build menu. All clear. With the R1 button held, move the left analog stick left or right, or press the left or right directional buttons to highlight different buildings in the menu. You can see the costs of each selected building listed at the bottom. To get started, the first thing you'll need is a headquarters. This HQ is the center of your base and will allow you to construct several other buildings. Highlight the HQ on the menu, then press the X button to select it. 
Where do you want it? You have chosen the HQ and are ready to place it. Release the R1 button to remove the build menu and scroll around to move the building to your desired location. You can press the L2 button or R2 button to rotate the building or press the circle button to cancel placement. When you've found a spot, press the X button to place the HQ. On the way! Good. You've ordered your first building. As soon as the HQ has begun construction, your bulldozer is free to start another one. The next building you'll need is a resource depot. This is where dump trucks go to unload the plastic and electric resources they harvest on the map. These resources are scattered around in many different forms and can be identified by moving the target over them. You should see a shovel and a battery near the center of the map. Order a resource depot and place it near these two objects. Need something? Where do you want it? On the way! When the depot is complete, it will produce one dump truck and automatically begin harvesting the resource. To build more dump trucks, you can order them from the HQ. Try doing this by holding the R1 button down and moving the left analog stick up or down, or press the up or down directional buttons to get to the HQ's... With the dump truck highlighted, press the X button once to order. Good. By pressing the X button again, you can queue up another dump truck. By pressing the circle button, you can reduce the number of units queued. And by holding the circle button down, you can clear the queue for that unit. Now that you've got resources coming in, try using the bulldozer to build a barracks. Need something? Where do you want it? Rolling! The barracks is where all your infantry units are made. You can order and queue units in it, just like the headquarters. When you highlight one of the units in its build menu, you'll see the unit's cost, effectiveness against different armor types, and required building level. Take some time to order a few units. The triangular flag near your barracks is called the rally point. This is where your units will move to when they are completed. You can place this rally point anywhere on the map by pressing the square button on the barracks build menu, releasing the menu, then pressing the X button anywhere on the map. The next building you'll want is a garage. If you pull up the bulldozer's build menu, you'll see that the garage is not yet available. This is because your headquarters needs to be upgraded first. With the HQ selected, hold the R1 button down and highlight the upgrade button on the right. Press the X button to All upgrade. Clear. Good. The HQ is now upgrading. While you wait for it to finish, you can explore the map for more resources or practice building units from the barracks. When the upgrade is complete, Go to the bulldozer's build menu and construct a garage. What the? The HQ is now oh, upgraded. Way. Go to the bulldozer's build menu and construct a garage. The units built by the garage Ready require electricity as well as plastic, so your dump trucks will automatically start collecting both resources. Where do you want it? Rolling! Go to the bulldozer. 
If you pull up the build menu for the barracks, you'll notice that some of the units cannot be built. To unlock them, you'll need to upgrade. Highlight the upgrade button on the right side of the build menu and press the X button to upgrade the barracks. When the upgrade is complete, you will be able to build all the units listed in the barracks. Now try building some base defense. Pull up the build menu for the bulldozer and construct a guard tower. Need something? Where do you want it? On my way. Ready to bail. Use the bulldozer to construct a guard tower. You can obstruct enemy movement around your base by placing barbed wire fences. There are several markings along the terrain. Use the bulldozer to place fence posts on each of these markings. All clear. You'll notice Where that you when want? a fence post or guard tower is ordered, it remains selected by the bulldozer. This allows you to place multiple fence posts quickly. When you are finished ordering, press the circle button. On the way. Be right there. On the way. Be right there. Lead the way. Rolling. Yeah. Use right the there. bulldozer to place barbed wire fences on each of the markings. Ready to build. On my way. Be right there. Ready to build. Rolling. Yeah. Sir. Moving out. All clear. Need something? Where do you want it? Rolling. Use the bulldozer to place barbed wire fences on each of the markings. Each time a fence post is completed, it will automatically connect with any nearby fence posts that are aligned vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. You can disconnect any two fence posts by selecting one post, then moving your cursor over the other and pressing the X button. Repeating those steps will reconnect the barbed wire. Lastly, you can melt down any of your buildings or fences and get back half the resource used to build it. To melt a building, hold down the L2 button, scroll over the building, then press the X button. In addition to melt, the L2 button controls the sliding doors at the entrance to a shopping center in Burbank, California. For this reason, you must use the L2 button carefully. That's all there is to base building. Keep practicing for as long as you want. When you've had enough, move Sarge to the extraction point to complete your training. Rolling. Yeah. Fall in. On my way. Ready to see some action? This time out, you're going to be practicing your combat skills. The ammo is live, and so is the enemy. Follow orders, and you'll be on the field in no time.
The first combat area is straight ahead. Select all your units and move them forward to begin. Sir! No problem. Select a unit you want to shoot with. Then scroll over a target and press the X button to attack. Destroy all the targets. If you attack with different units, you'll notice that each one fires with a different weapon, and each weapon has its own range and firepower. It's important to learn the strengths and weaknesses of each one. Or you could just hurl them blindly at the enemy. That's what most people do. Unroute. Select yes, a unit you want to shoot with. Then scroll over a target and yeah. press the X button to attack. Destroy Unroute. all the targets. Okay. Select a unit you want to shoot with. Then scroll over a target and press the X button to attack. Destroy all the targets. Unroot. Sorry, here. Fall in. Affirmative. Not a problem. Sing. Sup? Let me at him. No problem. Yes, sir. With pleasure. Good. Now try destroying the next row by using your lock-on. I'm disabling your camera. Move the right analog stick to jump to the targets, then press the X button to fire. Attacking! The lock-on allows you to quickly choose which enemy to target, Understood. saving valuable time in battle. The targets are destroyed. You're ready for real combat. These targets will be firing back at you. Select all your units and move them into the next area. Advancing. Not a problem. 
problem. Enemy sighted. I'm hit. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Unit lost. Unit lost. Excellent. I'm giving you a medic jeep and some additional units. Use the jeep to heal your men, then move forward into the next area. This time, the enemy will have choppers as well as ground units. You'll notice that some of your men can't hit aircraft. Who's next? Heading out. Rolling. Enemy sighted. When you're ready, move forward into the next area. All right. What? Affirmative. You got it. Rolling. Enemy side. I got him. I got him. He's gone. Good job. You passed. You can head east to the extraction point now or head south and practice combat in the challenge course. Relax. 